Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to apply conditional formatting to a form in Microsoft Access 2016. Now, many Access users would like to highlight their information conditionally. That means uh, to a particular condition, the highlight will be applied. Similar way to the Excel user, they apply conditional formatting to their Excel sheet. Now let's take for an example, I have a report information of the quantity of the order that the customer has placed. Alright, so what we are going to do, we are going to highlight a record which let's say from 6 to 9, the customer has placed an order 6 to 9 times for a particular product and it will highlight that particular product in a, a color, let's say a yellow color. So this particular event will give me an understanding that it will usually alert the user that which product is quite famous among the customer and where they have placed repeated orders. So it will give me an understanding of the popularity of a certain product. We will get a better understanding how to apply conditional formatting to a form in our practical approach. In this video, we are going to learn how to apply conditional formatting to a form in Microsoft Access 2016. Now let's go ahead and do this. So in order to do that, I have to pull out a form. I will go under the navigation pane and I will select this order item sub form. All right. So I'll simply double click. Now this is under the data sheet view. If you want to see this form view, I will select the form view. So basically what is the formatting that I want to apply is that, that whenever I see this particular product that is butter pecan, it should change the color of this particular field and it should give me a different color altogether. So this is the conditional formatting, which I wish to apply. So let's go ahead and do the changes. So in order to do that, I will go under the view tab and I will select the data sheet view because I'll be needing this data sheet view so that I can apply this rule to entire field. So let's say I will first the very first uh, step is to first highlight the field where I want to apply the conditional formatting. Now I will go under this form tools tab and under this data sheet tab I can see there is something called as conditional formatting. So I will simply select conditional formatting. Now the process is the same as we have seen in our previous video. In our previous video we have applied a conditional formatting to a report. Now we are doing the same thing but this time we are going to apply it to a form. So I'll go ahead and select the new rule and I will say check the current values record to use an expression. Perfect. So let's go ahead and do this. I say the field value is now again ha I have same entries. The field value is expression is I will go under this drop down menu and I say this time equals to because I do not want to mark a range. I want to say that the particular uh, field should contain butter pecan, right? So I say butter pecan and let's give it, uh, I make sure that I have the correct uh, name so that there's no typo error. Uh, I will do the next thing. I will go ahead and apply some formatting to this. Let's take the text color as to be white, make just make it a little bolder. And this is how you can apply the formatting. So I have applied the format. So whenever it sees butter pecan, it will give me the answer in this format. All right. So I simply hit OK. Now it says value equals butter pecan will give me this format. Let's go ahead and see whether it has been applied or not. I'll simply hit on the apply button. Now, as you can see, uh, let me just move here a bit. So as you can see out here, I'll simply hit OK. Uh, as you can see out here now, the product which is butter pecan are automatically getting highlighted with the format that we have described. Now let's go ahead and see this in the form view as well. So I will move to this particular view tab and I'll say form view. As you can see, I have butter pecan. So butter pecan is giving me this particular format. But uh, if I change the product type, let's say this time we'll take a different product. Uh, we'll take pumpkin and see whether it happens anything with pumpkin. So I type pumpkin and no, there's no, there's no, but whenever I'm typing butter pecan out here, right, it is showing me this particular format, which we have discussed it, uh, which we have applied it in our conditional formatting tab. Let's go ahead and try to do something else. Uh, I'll, I'll go to this data sheet view. Uh, I can also apply it to the range. Let's say I want to apply to the range where, where the price is, is uh, more than I, I can give a conditional formatting that whenever the price is between the range of 15 to 20, it should give me a conditional formatting. 
uh, a conditional formatting with a particular format to it so let's go ahead and apply this conditional formatting one more time i will repeat uh, the same procedure first i'll highlight the range or the field right i'll move to conditional formatting i say a new rule the field value is between i say 16 to 20 and this time i'll give a different formatting a different color altogether i'll move to this drop down menu uh, i'll take the screen let's make it little italic this time and give it a color a different color altogether red doesn't suit so again i'll take a white all right and make it bolder as well and i simply hit ok now i'll let me apply this rule i'll simply i'll hit ok now the conditional formatting will be applied to those products which are between the range of 16 to 20 as you can see all the uh, product which are in the range of 15 to uh, 16 to 20 it are automatically getting highlighted similarly it can be viewed out there as well so i'll say pies and pecan is having 16 so it should be displayed out here as well so i say pies uh, and the product type is apple if you can see you can see this particular format has changed already okay so this is how you can apply conditional formatting to a form as well in microsoft access 2016